Hello friends. Today we are turning into a glittery festival fairy princess. Right here. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I already have my hair like this so I'm taking complete advantage of that situation and decided to create a super fun messy, easy festival look. Simple yet effective, slow but thick. Obviously, bouncing off the colour of my hair with the pinks and my new nails. Flames. Flames, flames, flames. This is super easy to recreate, guys. Do not be put off <laughs> by all the madness. And I've got loads of super fun kind of little festival mua makeover tips and tricks if you want to keep on watching. Prepare for the most dramatic change of life. Okay, my baby hairs are going to be out in full force because I slept in these guys last night. I got them done yesterday for a fun shoot that you guys will be seeing soon. And I decided to keep them in so I could do some cool ass tutorials because I am a content creator. Anyways, honestly guys, you should have seen me walking through the airport with these in. I said everyone thought I was going to Coachella. No, I'm going to Ireland. Similar enough. Starting off with my Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Pet. Oh my god, why can't I speak? <laughs> I need to do warm up exercises before videos, genuinely. Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. Take a wee squidge of him and just popping it all over the face. This is nice to wear even on your wear, no makeup. It just gives a nice kind of glow and sheen, just kind of, you know, makes you alive. They're still reminiscent glitter on my face, by the way, but that will only help with the tutorial. The more glitter, the better, am I right? Foundation, obviously, I'm going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Aww. We're going to a festival, all right? We're not fucking about, you know? This shit needs to last. Are any of you guys going to any cool festivals this year? Let me know down below so I can be jealous. Obviously, we do not want to bring these bags with us. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm looking V-tired, so I'm gonna apply this very generously. Hello. Guys, Game of Thrones is back. You know, I'm feeling mixed emotions, you know? Obviously, delighted it's back. Finally. Right. But it's the last season. Hello. <laughs> What am I gonna do after it? I realize I have a weird obsession with dragons. Terrified of dinosaurs, but I like flying dinosaurs that breed fire. I wish I had a dragon, I'm not gonna lie. Going back in with my foundation brush. My nose is so itchy. That means I'm gonna fight somebody. Better not get too close. Now that we look flat as a pancake, we need to set everything. Oh, deal. That's a lot of powder. <sighs> I can already see it spilling all over my floor. Oh no, it's already starting. Wow, you know, I did put it out into the universe. Laura Mercier set and powder, just pushing that into all my pores. I know obviously at a festival we want to look glowy and, you know, summery and whatnot, but we need to be set. We don't want it sliding off us, so we will be applying the powder quite aggressively if you will. I look like I just dunked my face in some flour, it's fine. What I like to do with my powder, um, I actually like to dust it off using another powder. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes when you're baking, I find it can like cling to certain areas and whenever I wipe it away, you can see where the powder actually attached itself. Does that make sense? It nearly makes your foundation or concealer look a little bit darker, so I actually like to go in with more powder and just very lightly dust this away. Ah, in my eyeball. It's fine. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Carter Beauty Phoenix palette. I think I might have showed you guys this on here before, I think. I was using this to death, <laughs> as you can tell, during my master classes. Guys, this is like so, so good and so affordable. I cannot stress the Carter Beauty brand is like so cheap and such good products as well. But I particularly like this. It has like, you know, the different stages of tan basically in it. You know, you've got warm tones and cool tones. Whenever you're a bronze goddess, you know, whenever you're ready for the down, whenever you're becoming a little bit more scaldy and whenever your tan is nearly gone. You know, the different stages of fake tan, this palette has got you covered for when you need to be balanced. So basically, we are very carefully going to put this all over our face. Girl, I just wanna be bronzed. I love when people comment that I look orange. I'm like, your point. We do not discriminate against any color on this channel, excuse me, orange included. I mean, I definitely think I'd rather lean more so towards the 
orange skin tone than blue, aka my natural colour. We all know the drill, I look crazy until I get brows on. Give your brush a little squeeze and just do the centre of your face as well because otherwise it'll look really flat and you will look weird. I'm tired today. My shoulder's gonna be a different colour than my face because obviously the tattoo is still healing and I don't wanna put any shit on it yet, so deal with it. Get out of my ass. For blusher, I'm gonna apply a shit ton. I'm going for pinks on my eyes, so I want the blusher to kinda really... I will sneeze. Come on. Oh, it's left. That's so annoying. Blusher I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild in the shade Pearlescent Pink, but we had this conversation before. This is this is peach, but it's fine. And like I said, we're gonna be quite aggressive in our application of this because I want it to kind of come up into this region where I'm gonna be blowing out my eyeshadow. I'm bringing it up onto the highlighter area and nearly up onto the temples, just ever so slightly, or a lot. We're back and looking significantly glitter ear. Yeah, I just shot off and done one eye off camera because that's what I do. So let's zoom you in. So the palettes I'm going to be using today are the Riviera and my own palette. The first shade I'm going to take is Monte Carlo. It's this really nice kind of peachy pink shade. I have my P. Louise base on already and we're just starting on the outer corner and blending that right up into the crease. I'm bringing it across the lid as well. Then once I get to the inner corner region, I'm going to mix Monte Carlo with Sales, which is the white and this is going to make it super, super bright in the inner corner or whatever. Just kind of pressing and blending at the same time. As you can tell, we're gonna horse a load of glitter onto this, so you don't have to be too precise with this. Kind of chuck it on whatever way you want, because it will all look great in the end, I swear. Then taking the shade Unruly from my palette just to deepen the outer edge. Because we are going in with so much glitter, as you can see, you need to have darker shades here just so the glitter has something to really bounce off. Otherwise, it kind of just looks like it's floating there. So again, just bouncing that on and giving it a little wiggle right up into the crease area. Any mistakes you make today? Grand. We're gonna cover it with glitter. I mean, you made mistakes. Where? I can't see past all the glitter. That's the goals with this. I'm making sure to really buff this out as well, by the way. I'm going for glittery. I've done so many looks similar to this now at this stage. For my lid and then also for my highlighter later on, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream palette. And I'm taking this middle shade here. Super pink, super cute. I'm gonna on with my finger first. Then using a brush for the other corner where my nails won't let me get into. The brow bone as well. All very pink, aren't we? I'm just inspired by my hair, to be honest. When am I gonna have this again? Never, because I will not be able to do it. So let's enjoy it while it lasts. Now I'm taking my P. Louise Basic Bright Base. This is in the shade Poppin' Pink. I'm taking a little squidge of this on a little bullet brush, and I'm just gonna kind of create a little messy wing shape with this. I'm gonna pack Unruly over this next, but by using this base, it just gives Unruly a really good base. To stick to. But the all about that bit. But that bit. No trouble. Going in with Unruly on my little SK06 brush. We're just gonna press this on top first. It's just gonna make the glitter stand out even more. This is gonna be so ugly before we get the glitter on. So take your judgmental feelings with you, please. Thank you. Be much. See just how super messy and kind of blown out this is. That was what you want, to be honest. The messier it looks, the better. Which is great, of course, if you're stuck out in the field and around them tent somewhere, probably dying of a hangover. The last thing you want to do is whip out a super technical cut crease and my right, ladies. Smoke, smoke. Before we move on to glitter, I'm just going to pop Urban Decay Love Drug Co Pencil into my waterline. Okay, so what makes stuff like this look really, really good is whenever you layer loads of glitter. So that's what we're going to do today. If you use one glitter, it's just going to look a bit shite, honestly. What you're going to need is a super bluffy, teeny ass little brush. This is my SK03 brush. I'm absolutely obsessed with this guy for like blending intricate details. You guys know already. Mm. This is great for glitter. The first glitter we're going to use is the Stila Magnificent Metal. This is in the shade Gypsy. This is the only properly kind of one I could find at the moment. And what you're going to do is take your little fluffy brush. Make sure the bristles are quite like spread out on it because that's what you want. You don't want all the brush hairs stuck together. And then very messily, you're literally just going to bounce this on top of the wing. The wing is going to be completely covered. It's kind of just there as a guideline. So you know where to be placing your 
or glitter and bringing it underneath the eye also you can see it'll be super super messy with this the messy of the middle i'm bringing it right above the wing as well this works out so much better when it's super chunky because as you can see your eyelashes do tend to cover a lot of it so yeah and it's not going to be a perfect wing shape it's going to be like a massive ass chunky wing thing then with whatever's left i'm just very lightly going to blend mm, yum 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 you're going to need a glitter base to be honest what i think works best normally is eyelash glue it's just the best for holding on glitter you know it's not going to move you only need to use the tiniest amount but i do like this glitter base as well i feel like you can kind of work around with it and it's not as heavy as duo glue so this one's a lot heavier it will make sure it stays intact it will be a little bit uncomfortable on your eyes this one's a lot lighter it won't hold on to the glitter particles if they're super big that well but i still think it does the job so we're taking that and we're taking our gypsy shrine fortune knight glitter which looks like this it has big hexagon pieces little triangles and then see these tiny little dots these these are it holographic blue pink green really cool <laughs> really cool my eyeballs there's about to be a party on my eyeballs <laughs> so i'm taking the exact same little brush first off we're going to take some of the peaches and cream glitter glue and we're going to mainly focus this in sections i guess i'm sure you're only using a tiny amount of this as well because it will lift off your eyeshadow underneath if you start using too much just be careful then firstly i'm just making sure i dip into the tiny little particles in the pot first so not taking up any of the big hexagon looking things just yet we're sticking to the small guys i look like i have really crusty glittery eyes it gets better i swear after you do your first layer you're gonna have to go in with some more glitter glue honestly you know the drill super messy super quick super easy still continuing in that little wing shape oh she looking cute see how it starts to come together you guys doubted me i know you did because I doubted myself, but it's fine. <laughs> now that I have the general shape and whatnot, I'm just gonna make sure I go in and add a little bit more of, see the little diamonds, because I think they're pretty cool, to be honest. If you feel like you have put one in like a place you're not happy with, so say like me down here, just get a little spoolie and flick it off. Moving on to mascara and lashes then, I pop it on Kaylee and Ego lashes stacked, because you know, it's a festival. Just in case we need to take flight at any moment, I need some big ass eyelashes always. So there we have have it super glittery fun festival wow moving on to skin again using the anastasia dream palette and sticking with these pinky shades we're just gonna oh, take it out the reason why i really like these highlighters is because obviously you're getting the color but you're not getting like a super bad cast either if the sun isn't hitting your face so you really can go ham with these obviously we're at a festival hello a little trick i also wanted to show you guys um or i just thought that would be cool to mention a little trick in the trade for a festival makeup artist is a lot of them actually use a lip gloss to stick down glitters and whatnot to their face now obviously the only bad thing about that is if it's windy and your hair goes into your glass it's gonna be ooey but if you've got braids like this you're gonna be absolutely fine. Glasses or Carmax or even Vaseline for sticking it onto your collarbones and your body. Just to show you guys what I mean this is the new NARS lip gloss in the shade Redemption but these ones are limited edition because of course all the good stuff is. These can actually be used on the lips, the eyes and the face. So I'm gonna use my finger and pop a little glittery freckles because I think if I put on glitter underneath here, it's just going to clash too much with the eyes. So I think like a little bit of, yeah, let's do that. So you can see whenever you sheer it out, it really is a gorgeous, gorgeous gloss. I'm going to tap it on top. And then I'm going to bounce a little bit into the center of my face. And then what I'm going to do is take the tiny, only the little ones that I use on the eyes. So I'm just going to take my teeny tiny little paintbrush and draw on some fake pink freckles. Using Monte Carlo, the same one that we used earlier. Probably should have done this before the glitter, but it's fine. Moving on to the lips, I'm just going to stick on a big fat nude lip as usual. I've just used the Sosu I Like It lip liner. There's glitter all over my lips, but that's just bound to happen. And then again, using the NARS lip gloss or lip shiny product in Redemption. And there we have it, guys. This is the finished festival fairy look of course you could always add more you could add glitter and sparkles to your collarbones your shoulders etc you know the drill to your hair actually the little trick i told you about earlier by using vaseline putting that onto your hair that's what's going to make the glitter stick and that's what's going to make it super intense another little trick of the trade but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial 
tutorial and learn something fun and new and different. I hope you enjoy whatever festival you are going to and look like beautiful, glittery, fairy princesses. If you guys recreate this or use any of my little tips or tricks, then make sure to tag me because I absolutely love seeing that. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and let me know what your favourite part is. If you're going to a festival, what you're wearing, let me know so I can live through you. Thank you. That's all for me and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!